Oh, he won't say yes. <laughs> if he says yes, I'll judge him. <gasps> he said yes? You can't marry a man you just met! Oh no, we only started talking to him today! Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. This might be weird, okay, but I'm trying out a cat cam because my cat is hanging out in here. I do this a lot on my Twitch streams, but I've never done it in a YouTube video. She's just sitting right there and she looks so cute, so I, I'm filming her for you. We're recording this live at the same time time as we're recording the video. I know it's weird. Maybe it's a little bit distracting, but it's fun. Okay? There. Okay. I even zoomed in. This is good. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, we are back today with another episode of the Nightmare at Legacy Challenge with the Bell family. Last episode, we did a bit of dating and sort of discovered that Rusty maybe is not the one for us, which was kind of devastating to learn. At the moment, I'm kind of leaning towards dumping him to- Let's be honest, he doesn't even like us. I don't think he ever liked us. I'm not really sure who we're gonna date instead, but you know, We'll figure that out. It's fine. Everything is fine. Speaking of though, Blue like just got home from work. So I think I'm gonna have them like use the bathroom. Maybe, oh, never mind, not in there. Okay, there's like a party going on down here in these bathrooms. <laughs> Let's go use the bathroom and take a shower. And then maybe we could try and go out tonight to like a bar or something and see if we can find anybody to hang out with. Also in the newest update for The Sims 4, they added cow plant tattoos. And so I think I might give Blue one of them. I know it's maybe like a little bit wrong of us to give a cow plant tattoo to The Sim who was like eaten by a cow plant and then got a fear of plants despite their lifelong goal being to have plants and now their brother keeps getting eaten alive but I just it seems funny to me so I think I might go into cast and do that now oh my god I forgot about the eyeball ring that is just horrifying on so many levels but these are our two options we have this tattoo and then we also have this tattoo and I think I like this one better I like the flowers around it and like the plants I feel like it seems appropriate for the plant sim to have that version I wonder if there's any other like sort of floral looking like there's that flower tattoo because maybe I'll give them another one I don't know. It might be kind of fun We also have like literally flowers these ones from discover university are kind of cute This one's on the other arm. So that could be kind of nice. Oh my gosh They also made a plum bob tattoo. That's like covered in flowers as well. Where is it this one? They added this one into the game yesterday also and I think that might be kind of fun Should we do that version or is is getting three tattoos at once too much? No, I when else are we gonna add them as if we're gonna be like back in cast adding more tattoos later. I don't think so. It's now or never. Let's do it now. The way she is still just sat there with her face into the pillow. I'm kind of curious to see how much she will move throughout the video. It's not a picture. It's a it's a live camera. She's right there. If you look very closely, you could see her breathing. Okay, Blue, you have three new tattoos. You took a shower. You're a bit hungry. I have this I'm Lonely Club where we had previously met Rusty, but maybe I could revisit it and see who else is around. A lot of these people are related to me, which is the problem. Like Raylan, Colton, Savannah and my brother hate each other. So like, I don't think she's an option. We were friends with Molly in high school. So that maybe could work. I can't very well date Lilith. Like I can't get involved with the vampire. That's just not the vibes. Anthony Moulton. I wonder what his traits are like. Also, I hate this guy called Moses for some reason. I might add him too, just to see. And you know what? Roxanne's pretty. Roxanne's pretty. Let's, let's start here. Oh my God. I can send a flirty text to Anthony already. I'm getting a little bit ahead of my Myself. But maybe I'll see where he invites me out to and we can get food there. He might also not invite me out. That's that's also an option. Yeah, he didn't invite. Oh, he did. <gasps> you want to go grab a drink? I'll go grab a drink. I think this is the bar from Jungle Adventure, which is kind of weird that people bring you to it because you like technically can't travel there. Otherwise, you have to like be on vacation in that world to get there. But sometimes it like brings you here for these weird little like outings. Yeah, it is the bar from Jungle Adventure. Somehow we've traveled very far for this. Okay, here's Anthony. I realize you can't see his traits because my cat cam is over them. Hang on. It looks like he's a music lover, gloomy, and snob, and he wants to have a big happy family, so that's not that bad. Oh, she moved! She moved as soon as I turned it off for a second. Oh my god. Okay, well, he also lives with his sister, his dad, mom, brother, and sister. Okay, so he's got no kids or anything. He's kind of cute. Like, kind of really cute. I wonder what his job is. My game is being so laggy right now. It's actually kind of concerning. Look at how slow this is. His outfits aren't that bad either. I mean, they're not great, but he's not wearing like ridiculous clothes. Well, this is kind of a weird combo. <laughs> this 
It's kind of a weird outfit choice. Oh, maybe I'll give him some likes and dislikes. Wait, randomize? What do you got? Oh, I have to like reload my game, I think. It looks like he hates red. Likes focus music. He enjoys streetwear fashion and guitar. That makes sense. He loves music. And he also hates storybook decor. Okay. I'm gonna give him a new outfit, but I might just make it be purple because I kind of like the vibes of these pants. I'm just not loving like the, the top combo with them. I don't really like it. This is kind of cute. Oh my God, this game, this is like actually unbearable. I need to reload. I don't know what's gotten into my game today. It's being so laggy. This save in general is a bit much sometimes. <laughs> it's a bit of an old save, so it makes sense. But this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, when it sent me back far away from my Sims. Okay, I'm gonna just close, save and exit, and we'll reload and see if it fixes it. Okay, I'm back this time. I need to reload again so I can get back to blue. You know what? I do like those cow plant tattoos. I was thinking about them while I was sat here waiting for my game to load and load and load and load, and I really like them. I guess only one of them's a cow plant, but I, I like the new plant tattoos. I think they're kind of fun. Forget it. I'm not gonna bother with trying to change his outfits yet. I'm just gonna see if they get along first before I like do anything ridiculous. And the game does seem to be loading better. Like it's not being as laggy right now. So, oh, I might've spoke too soon. No, we should be okay. Is it too soon to like sexy pose? Do I still have a boyfriend? Is Rusty still my, oh dear. I didn't break up with him yet. <laughs> I was just sat here looking at my, my non-existent romance bar. Oh no, now I'm a cheater. But look how well it's going. See, Anthony's actually into me. This is good. It's going well. Oh, the date ended somehow. But look, he likes me. This is what we needed the whole time. No, he left too. Why does everybody always leave? Oh, this is what I needed the whole time though, was someone who like actually seemed to get along with me quickly. They really hit it off. Considering they just met, I feel like they really hit it off. Maybe I'll just order some food. Maybe I'll get some like chips and salsa while I'm here. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> but I might just order some food really fast and then we'll go home. I just, I felt like I promised Blue that they could get food when they came out tonight and then I, I didn't really prioritize that. So we'll get some food. We'll sit by ourselves and eat it at this little table. And then what, do we just go home? Why did you stop eating it? Oh my God. Okay. They seem cool. You want to say hi? Like, look at their hair. I'm kind of into it. No, I, th I think that I really actually like Anthony. His traits aren't bad. I mean, oh, I don't remember them. He liked music or something. We need to get a chance to like get to know him better. Maybe I could go home and like invite him over so we could talk more. I can't travel from here. <laughs> I need to like switch sims and go back. This is the problem. When they bring you to this lot, you can't like press the map and then travel home. It's like glitched. They shouldn't bring you to that place because it's a vacation lot technically. Oh my God, this, no, I tried to, oh, I was gonna say this back and forth is so annoying. And then I switched control instead of bringing blue to the lot. So I'm going back. I did all that. I reloaded so many times and now I have to go back. Oh my God. Okay, this is fine. Maybe I'll just invite Anthony back to this lot. Maybe I'll do that. Do you think he has a job? Like, do you think he's actually employed in game? or or not. That's, I mean, it's fine if not, no sims are employed. Like usually by default, they're just not. Oh, I can't invite him out. That's good. Can I force him? Sim commands, teleport commands, teleport active sim to world sim. What? Teleport blue to Anthony's home lot? Hmm. I haven't done this yet. That's my first time trying that. I'll do it. I'll see. Oh, why must he live in stranger world? There's always a red flag. There's always a red flag. Everybody I try and date, every time there's a red flag. Okay, ask about career. Get to know. Will you not talk to him? Okay, no, you won't. That's cool. That's fine. The game's being weird and laggy again. This today seems like a flop. <laughs> this episode not going very well. Okay, likes and dislikes, ask about career. I need to know what job you have. It's actually urgent. Oh, that didn't go well. Whatever I tried to talk to him about didn't work. Anthony's unemployed, that's fine, I can fix that. Anthony's a snob, that's fine, me too. Ask about hobbies, let's try that. Anthony didn't answer my question. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, Blue must be really unlikable because this, it never goes well. Every time I try and talk to someone, it like doesn't work. Every single time. Propose a scheme, show off muscles. Neither of us have any muscles, Blue. Let's be real with ourselves for a second. Oh, charisma level four. Well, maybe I'm not that unlikable. Ooh, idea. Let's see if we can add him on social bunny because that way, if he's on my social bunny, hopefully I'll be able to like build friendship a little bit easier. Oh, I can get like my family on social bunny too. Social bunny is great because it builds friendship like when you're not actively trying to. <laughs> maybe I'll add the other Sims too. Like I'm friends with Jacqueline. We did talk to Yuna. Oh my God, I was gonna date Yuna. I totally forgot about her. I'm all over the place. I won't lie. Post about being back from work. Yeah, just make some posts. I don't know. And then should I, oh, wrong sim. Not rusty, not rusty, not rusty. Anthony flirty message. Anthony smash. That's a bad idea. You still have a boyfriend who is somebody else. I am a cheater. Blue is a cheater. We've really gone down. Uh-oh, he doesn't like it. No, no, 
no, no, I ruined everything. I have to leave, I have to leave, I have to leave. What is wrong with me? I actually can't, I can't do it. Everyone I try and talk to, maybe I should go back to Yuna because literally every time I, I fail. I need to just stick to taking selfies. Stick to taking selfies and take it slow. Otherwise this happens. Okay, after work tomorrow, we're gonna go find Anthony and we're gonna take some selfies with him. Oh God, and maybe I should dump Rusty also. Okay, I kind of forgot about that problem. I need to make sure I get rid of Rusty. I love Rusty, he was cute, his name was iconic, but like, it's just not gonna work. He didn't even like me. And that, that's kind of a key factor in a relationship being successful is like, um, liking each other. Okay, everyone else can probably go to bed. How long does Blake have left? Oh, probably like two days. Oh God, just go to sleep. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I, don't, I can't deal with that problem right now. I actually can't. Everyone just go to sleep. Let's have a nice, laggy, relaxing evening. And in the morning, we can deal with the fact that all my Sims are going to die. Blue has to, oh my God, Blue is getting old. Blue is gonna be an adult in five days. We like actually have to get married fast and have a kid. It's, it's becoming urgent. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like when you play on a short lifespan, you actually have to move fast because if you don't, like Blue is not gonna live to see their kids be grown. So <laughs> we need to move a little bit quicker than this. Um, Tomorrow, perhaps we need to just, dare I say, whoever will date us, we should date them and then just let it be. Like maybe, maybe we should just let fate take over and whoever we can make like us tomorrow is, is gonna be the one. Maybe it's Yuna, maybe it's Anthony, I don't know. <laughs> We just gotta do what we can, okay? Whoever we can make work, that's gonna have to be who it is. Oh, we don't even have work today. Okay, that's actually great. That is a very good sign for us. Okay, well, Blue also wants to like plant things for their- <gasps> Oh, it's Pepper's birthday. Oh no, no. Oh, everyone's going to die. This is really bad. I feel like everything's happening too fast. My game's not though, cause it's being so laggy. But like, Pepper's gonna be an elder today. That is not what I want. That's not what I signed up for. Okay, yes. You can like gardening blue. That was kind of the whole thing. <laughs> that was like the, the whole plan we were going for was that you would like gardening. So yes. Oh wait, it didn't count as me planting something three times because I put it in these planters. Oh, forget it. I'm cheating that because I did plant something three times. That's a scam. Okay, so it's Pepper's birthday. I think I want to have a birthday party tonight. So perhaps I plan that birthday party now so that I don't miss it. Oh no. Okay, go alone to school though. I'm sorry, I can't come. <laughs> I got problems story about. Oh my god, it's love day. I totally didn't even notice. You can't tell because the cat cam is covering it. Here is the evidence. It is love day. This is actually really good for us, given the, you know, circumstances of us needing to find a partner literally today. Oh, it's Bo's birthday too. Oh god. Okay, so we'll plan a birthday party. I can't have it be gold. Is it because of the holiday? That is so annoying. Whatever. I'll do a birthday party. We'll have two birthday sims. We'll invite, like, the whole gang, all the Bell family, Tommy, Drake. <laughs> I might invite Rusty. I'll probably dump him before then, but that's fine. Yuna can come. Anthony. Jacqueline is Bo's girlfriend. Raylan's family. That'll be good. I'd like to just do it at our house. That seems a bit easier to me. Maybe we could do it at like five o'clock tonight. Okay, and then I have all day to fall in love. All right, let's go. <laughs> we got work to do. Is it like 7 a.m.? It might be, but that's fine. I'm going straight to the park. I'm bringing Anthony and we're gonna take selfies. Oh, I don't like his outfit. Should I change it or should I just, oh no. Okay, heartfelt compliment, knock, knock joke. Let's take a selfie. Wait, what are you embarrassed about? What is that? Become recognized for work. Oh, your fear of failure. Oh God, I'm really making them fail too. I'm doing a really bad job. Okay, let's take a photo with Anthony. Preferably like a bunch of photos, honestly. No, he's actually so cute though. Look at his face. I think they look good together. Okay, the bar is taller. The bar is bigger. We're getting somewhere. Humble brag, maybe? That's gonna go over badly, won't it? Enthuse about gardening. Share insecurities. It did go, the humble brag did go over bad. Okay, <laughs> I won't do it again, sorry. Sorry, lesson learned, lesson learned. Okay, the conversation is pleasant. Should I try and start like doing some love day stuff? I still have a boyfriend who's someone else. Maybe ask if he's single, compliment his appearance make a flirtatious joke, casually start trying a little bit, see how it goes. Anthony is single. He's flirty, he's flirty, he's flirty. Can I give him a love day gift? I have like that photo of us. Do you want one? Maybe he'd like that. It seems like he likes it. Oh no, <laughs> Rusty 
wants to go on a date. Hey, Blue, it's me, Rusty. Do you want to go on a date? No. I'm busy, Rusty. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he didn't like me before. Every time we hang out, he leaves. Like, how it... <sighs> oh, I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. We caused a big mess. Don't declare love publicly. That always goes wrong. Maybe I'll try embracing. And then, like, confessing attraction. Is it too soon? The conversation is suggestive. Maybe I'll ask him on a date. We can see about getting the love day stuff complete. I know you can't see the love day stuff, but it just, you have to go on a date for it. So we can go somewhere. Maybe we could go, oh, the Foundry Cove Park is kind of cute. I built this. Doesn't really have date vibes. It's more of like a, a basketball court, but <laughs> we can go there. That's fine. Oh, it is cute. You know what? I did a good job with this. I should build a park again. It's fun to build little parks. Okay. Hey buddy, do you want to have a first kiss? Go for it, 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 go for it. Dirty cheater! Blue, you have a boyfriend. I like them together. I'm very happy about this. I do want to change his outfits though, because I really don't vibe with them. I need to change his vibes. Right now, he's kind of making me feel worried about like, this is gonna sound bad, but I'm I'm kind of having some like frat boy fears, and I, I need to, um, I need to separate myself from that. <laughs> Oh my God, Blue has two boyfriends. I didn't think Blue was the type to be a dirty cheater. I didn't really intend for this to happen, um, but it has happened. <laughs> I'm gonna save my game quickly because it's being so laggy, it's scaring me. And and then we need to go fix the frat boy vibes. We can't have this, we just can't. Maybe if he had like a little fox sweater, you know, oh, a little cow sweater. See, that doesn't give off frat boy vibes. That gives off, I'm wearing a little cow sweater vibes. That's different, that's good. Maybe we could do the more purpley swatch of the cow sweater. He's a sad snob who likes music. He's really strong too, isn't he? <laughs> like, he's very buff. He's also a, a snob music lover and gloomy. I feel like cow sweater kind of portrays those things. Um, I don't really know what I'm saying, but it just, it, it feels right. I don't know what shoes or what pants to make him wear. I don't know anything. I'm not good at dressing Sims. I sit here judging their outfits, but like, who am I to talk? I don't know anything. I also just can't do this. The, my cast is being so laggy. Look at how slow it is when it tries to change their outfits. Ooh, we could wear a pink shirt. See, that's nice. The, no, the shoes aren't nice. The shoes don't work. I'm so bad at casts. I'm just so bad at it. I don't even want to do it right now. <laughs> like, the amount of time that it's taking me to load this, I just can't. I changed his everyday outfit. He's got a new cow sweater. I didn't do his hot weather though, and that's what he was wearing like on this date, but whatever. Oh my God, the way it switches the lot is actually so annoying. What do you mean I can't switch control to Bluebell? Oh my God, game. You are really testing me today. All right, I think his shoes look silly. I did a bad job with that. <laughs> that's my bad, but that's okay. It's okay. He looks cute. I like him. Oh, oh my goodness. No, I need a screenshot of that one. I like that picture. That's so fun. See, I. I think they're good together. I think they're happy. He likes me. I can propose. No. Do I dare? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna say no. I'm so foolish. I'm so foolish. I'm so foolish. I could still cancel, but I'm gonna do it anyway. He might not say no. It's possible he'll say yes. Oh, he won't say yes. <laughs> if he says yes, I'll judge him. <gasps> he said yes? You can't marry a man you just met. Oh no. We only started talking to him today. Okay, well, we're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. I said I wanted to move fast. It worked for the first time literally ever. Somebody likes blue. Oh, he left. He disappeared. Why do they always disappear? He just like up and vanished. I gave him a ring and then he literally vanished. Okay, well, um, maybe now's a good time to dump Rusty. Now that I think about it, I should probably tell him that I have moved on. <laughs> I should probably let the poor guy know that I, I found someone else. Asked to be ring bearer at wedding. Should I? I'm gonna. What do you think he'll do? Oh, he's sad. Oh no. You don't think he knows, right? Are you saying yes? Oh, that's just not right. That's so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rusty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I announce my engagement as well? I got engaged to someone who's not you. Oh, and you're happy about it. That's weird, because <laughs> we're dating. Uh, by the way, Rusty, you wouldn't marry me, so I found someone else. This is when he finally realizes. I asked him to be in the wedding. I told him I was engaged to someone else, and now he learns <laughs> that I have moved on. Oh God, what are the sentiments? Deeply wounded. I'm deeply wounded, but he has a festering grudge and is bitter about the breakup. Okay, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> now I'm a little bit sad. It's kind of ruining the vibes of my, um, my engagement day, but 
uh, that's fine. That's fine. Perhaps I'll just go home and start preparing for my mother's birthday then. Maybe I can make Blue bake the cake. Poor Pepper always has to bake every cake, literally ever. I mean, it is kind of her fault for going and mastering both cooking skills. Like, you would assume that, one, she needed to do all the baking to get her skill up. But also, now she's the best at it, it only makes sense that she do it. But on her birthday, uh, I'll bake it. I got you. I'll make it. I might even make two. Usually when I have Sims that share a birthday, I make them just share the same cake. But maybe I'll make one for Pepper and Bo separately. They deserve to have their own. I'm really bad about forgetting birthdays most of the time, so it's only fair if at least today I, I try. Why is homework so hard to finish? It takes so long. Will Bo ever finish? Or will it stare back at him blank? Bessie, it's a Friday night and you graduated. I guess he's not home from school yet. But like, you don't need to do your homework. <laughs> You're not going back to school. <laughs> There's no point in doing it. Oh, and the sink's broken. Okay, replace that. Is Blue still afraid of fire? No, we're not. Okay, just afraid of being cheated on, failing, and having unfulfilled dreams, which is all my fault. Hang on, you have a fear of being cheated on? That is rich coming from you. You are the cheater. This always happens. I'm telling you, you hear these stories of people being accused of being cheaters, and it's always the cheater projecting. That's Blue. Blue is the projecting cheater. Oh, I can't believe that we are on their side. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to be the bad person, right? That is bad though. That is actually really bad. I feel guilty. Because Rusty didn't even really do anything. All Rusty did was like be busy and and not be ready for marriage. And now look what happened to him. It, it's just, it's sad and it's my fault. Oh, Anthony's calling? You want to go on a date? Oh my god, I would totally go too. I would totally go, but I'm baking cakes for my mom. I'm so sorry. I need to prioritize my family. We did get engaged today, so, so maybe I should prioritize you, but I need to prioritize my family. I promised I would bake the cakes, so I need to do that first. Oh. During art, Bo's class was instructed to create flower-themed cards for each other. After gathering glitter-colored pencils, construction paper petals, and fuzzy pipe cleaners, Bo sat down, his creative juices flowing. The cards would be shared and opened with the rest of the class during the party later, so this had to be good. Two themes came to mind, hilarious or heartfelt. Do heartfelt! Sensitive, sweet, charming, thought-provoking. These are a few of the descriptors that kids are whispering about Bo in the halls. Oh! Some say the school bully renounced his previous taxation on school lunches. The popular girls are allowing anyone to sit with them, even if they aren't wearing pink, and nobody has been stuffed into a locker today. And all because of Bo's cards. Is this what being a teen legend feels like? <gasps> and Bo aced his exam? Look, exam results aced it? He is on his way to becoming valedictorian? Oh my god. Bo's on a roll today? Oh, Blue is not. Blue is the exact opposite. Maybe we picked the wrong heir. <laughs> Maybe we picked the wrong Sim to be the future heir. Wait, Pepper has work? No, 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 no. It's your birthday. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Take a vacation day. I don't think you've ever taken a vacation day. You have eight days left. Yes, take a vacation day. You can have the day off. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to go to work on the day of your birthday. We will have a nice party at home. We will all celebrate together. <laughs> I made one hamburger cake. Should I make like, I don't know. We could do like a matcha tea cake as the other one. A couple like interesting ones for the party as opposed to just like a plain vanilla cake or whatever. It didn't work when I tried to click it, so I need to go back and do it again. Come on, you got this. Oh, the game is unbearably laggy today. Why is it doing that? The party starts in like 15 minutes. Bo's not even here. He's at football practice. The birthday party is about to begin. Let's start. You can skip. It's your last day. There's no reason for you to stay at football. Like, it's fine. You're aging up. Just come home. Ooh, I like Blue's party outfit. I like Blue. I know I'm joking about Blue. Blue is like one of my favorite favorite sims ever. I really, really like them. The party guests are beginning to arrive. I don't really see them all. Oh, here's one. It's Blake and they're gonna pee their pants. Oh, it's Rusty. Oh god, why did I invite him? I sort of thought like, oh, maybe I can dump him at the party. That was a bad idea. That was a very poor decision. I, I mean, well, it's fun. It's fine that he's here. I'm kind of excited about it. So shall we just age the sims up first? Bo? Oh, is your girlfriend here? Focus the camera. I need to age her up too. Oh, she is here. She's outside. Okay, so we'll we'll make sure we age up everybody. And I know I'm saying girlfriend. That's kind of a strong word. They have like the tiniest romance bar, but that's fine. <laughs> no, no. Are you going to eat that cake? Oh no. I think he's just going to play with the cow plant. I'm sorry. I saw a cow plant like autonomous interaction and I got scared. I think he was just going to play with it because there's no cake to be eaten. <gasps> Bo aged up. I'm going to randomize his trait because we always do that. Three, two, one. <gasps> Loves the outdoors. Okay. That feels appropriate. Maybe he can have like the writing aspiration like his mom did or grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> 
sorry. And it's the same age as, as Bo's sibling. So it's all, everything's all thrown off. No, it was Bo's grandma, Anna, that had the writing aspiration. Congrats, grad. Bo has successfully completed high school. He can venture forth into the world with his head high and doors open. His future awaits. Very exciting stuff. Okay, buddy, buddy, buddy. Can you add some birthday candles to this so that I can age up Jacqueline before I forget? More choices, age up Sim, Jacqueline. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it seems someone has eaten the cake. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is fine. This is fine. Maybe I should have Pepper go blow out her candles before I forget. I would hate for her to age up like autonomously. Oh wait, it did work. Oh, look, young adult. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, she just like didn't come over to the cake for some reason. I don't know. This birthday cake business is really messed up and it's also being so laggy. It's it's all very confusing. This party is not really as fun as I hoped it would be. Is Anna even gonna age up? Okay, she's coming over. She's coming over. Wait, that's Anna. No, no, no. I almost aged up the wrong sim. <laughs> it's Pepper's birthday. I almost aged up. I was sat here talking about Anna. I'm like, oh yeah, Grandma Anna is the writer. And then I, I like forgot and almost aged her up. Oh my God. That would, I, that was gonna be so bad. <sighs> I confused myself. It's Pepper's birthday. Pepper is the one who needs to age up. Could you have imagined if I had done that? Oh, Anthony thinks Blue is swell and wants to be best friends. Yes, yes. Perfect. And Blue and Rusty have fallen out of touch, unsurprisingly, um, given the circumstances. <laughs> Okay, Pepper, it is your turn to age up. You will blow out the candles today. Why is Rusty in the photo? The way Rusty is just right there in this like family photo that we're gonna have forever. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Age up, age up. Ah, it's like unbearably laggy. I'm so sorry, everyone, that you have to watch this. And now Pepper is an elder. I don't like this game. Oh, Anna's gonna age up tomorrow anyway. So it wouldn't have been bad if I had aged her up. Okay. Well, today's been interesting, certainly. Oh, wait, Blue, you can come shape this. That'd be fun. See, we're building skills. You got engaged. Your your family all had a nice birthday. Today's been a good day. We even had a cat cam all day. Oh, we did dump somebody, which is maybe a little bit less pleasant. And then he came to my mom and brother's birthday party, but that's fine. Oh, wait, look, the, the birthday sims are playing football together. Okay, so we probably need to give Pepper a new outfit. Um, I don't know if this one gives off like elder vibes. <laughs> I say that with love. It's just, we might wanna, we might wanna pick a new outfit for Pepper. We need a new outfit for like all of these Sims. I've gotta redo Anthony's outfits. Pepper needs new outfits. I probably won't do that now. Oh, but look how cute this dress is and it matches her glasses. I think Pepper looks cute in this. I kind of like it. Um, Maybe I should get rid of your wedding look. <laughs> Perhaps I should remove that and we can go back to your regular look. I don't really think this is that bad. I think this is kind of cute for her elder outfit. Most of her outfits are pretty much fine. I kind of like this outfit too. I think she's cute. I'm really sad that she's old. The fact that we have two elders in this household is kind of concerning because the Sims are not elders for very long on short lifespans. So the clock is ticking on about half of this household. It's always a weird thing at like this point point in a generation because it's like, we're starting a new one. It's so exciting. Blue's got a new fiance. They're gonna have kids soon. Oh, but the last generation is dying and the last last generation is gonna die again. <laughs> But it's okay, it's okay. It's the circle of life. I think on that note though, I'm gonna end this part right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for like forcing this cat cam on you. She's just so cute. I couldn't help myself. I don't do it a lot in YouTube videos. I think I've only done it like literally once before in a video, but she was there and I, I had to, I had to. If you like that kind of thing, I do have cat cams a lot on my streams. Just like whenever she's in the room, I usually put the camera on her. So feel free to follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Simsy if you want. And with that being said, I'm gonna cut off right here and I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. All of this talk about the cat cam, I don't think I acknowledged our Sims cat, Tofu, a single time in this entire episode. I was so distracted by my real one that I literally never even mentioned Tofu.